Peace. Infinite Waters diving deep once again. We are out here in nature, baby. Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Have you been hanging around energy draining people lately? Is that you out there? Someone wrote in saying that they are naturally a giver. They like to give and they feel drained. But they feel this is what they came here to do to help people, but they feel drained. They really want to do it, but they feel drained. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> How to deal with energy draining people. The secret art of giving and taking. Let me share with you what's helped me along my journey. So growing up, and even my mom can attest to this, I used to love giving because I'm a Pisces, like Pisces love to give. But then I started to realize like if I was hanging around certain people, my energy would start to drop. <gasps> and if I was around certain people, my energy would start to rise. And a lot of us, we find ourselves in this predicament. We really, really want to help people. We're just really tired right now. So how do I do it? Because I've been sharing with people for a long time. And I'm always woo, full of energy. How do I do it? Let me share with you the blueprint that helped me along my journey. Fill your own cup. What? Fill your own cup first. It works on this simple principle. Don't go building someone else's house if you haven't built your own first. Slow motion this side. Mm. A lot of us, we're trying to build someone else's house. We're trying to help them with their life, but take a look at your own life. What's your life like? right? <laughs> I had to start building the foundation. I had to start building my house first before I even thought about helping anybody else. The more you learn to fill your own cup, then you have even more. You have even more to give to people. <clears throat> Look, <laughs> we all want to give, but if we don't have something within us we can't give anything at all and we're just left tired and that's really inconvenient and uncomfortable we don't want that even the cat down the road agrees right so learn to fill your own cup and for me it was all about saying okay i've really got to start making this a lifestyle because you see many of us on the planet right now as things are heating up, okay, are living in between worlds. Some of us, we're just working a regular nine to five, and at the same time, we have our eyes open and we want to help people, our third eye, that is, right? And we really, really want to help people awaken. But at the same time, because we are living in two worlds, we can't really give other people our full attention because. Our energy is also being dispersed somewhere else. So I realized for me, the secret art of giving and receiving was all about being able to make this my lifestyle. Because someone wrote in, how can I receive? Because if you're just giving all the time, you better be receiving something back. You got to make it what you do every single day and then make sure you get compensated. Do you know how many people I've met who say, yeah, Ralph, I do energy healing or Ralph, I, I'm opening this crystal shop or Ralph, I'm selling this and I'm actually not selling it, Ralph. I'm just giving it all away for free. I wrote this, Ralph, and I gave it all away for free. And that's beautiful. <laughs> Maybe 5,000 years ago, Look, you have to make sure you get compensated. I love to give away free videos, but I'm always making sure I know my value. Many people don't. And that's why they feel drained afterwards. You're hanging around certain people 
Your time is precious. Make sure you are compensated. If you're helping someone with a problem, make sure you are compensated. They don't have to give you money. They could scratch your back and you can scratch theirs. Actually, their back is really hairy. Don't bother, okay? Hey! <laughs> so, many times we don't realize when we are around certain people, do we have enough energy within ourselves, first and foremost? Are we eating for optimum health? Seven day vegan challenge. Now, I started to realize this, that many times it wasn't other people that were draining my energy. No, no, it was actually the foods I was eating. A lot of processed garbage, toxic junk. Wow. So I started to eat more leafy greens, got the spirulina going, got the chlorella going, got the hemp seeds going, got the hemp powder, the maca powder, got the maca powder, started to feel fantastic within myself and I had more to give. But also I was receiving more from the foods which I was consuming. Food is information, food is energy, food is life, food is great. <laughs> Surround yourself with other givers. Have you ever noticed this? You might be what we call an intuitive empath. Do you sometimes walk into rooms and then you're like, oh my gosh, I can feel all of this energy around me. Wait a minute, my energy is like getting sucked out of me right now. Okay, or sometimes you actually get a lot, you start receiving more. It works like this. If you are around someone who is always complaining, sometimes they're not healthy themselves, they're moaning about a condi they're moaning, <laughs> moaning about a condition they've got. They're like, I'm sick, I'm tired, I'm, right? Nobody wants to hear that. If you are around them, and let's say your energy is here, your energy will have to drop down to give them some of your energy. Okay, and that's how it works. Just like if you're around a really pumped up, inspired person, you will also start absorbing their energy. When you surround yourself with givers, you start to receive better energy. But many of us, we don't do that. We don't realize that who you surround yourself with, who you surround yourself with is a conscious choice. When I was young, my mom used to say, go and entertain those guests. And they weren't saying anything. So I, <laughs> I felt my energy getting sucked out of me, right? Because I'm like, I don't want to put on a show for you. Because we ain't even had breakfast yet. And if you are around a lot of miserable people and you're usually upbeat, once again, your energy, you will feel drained. But you've got to take responsibility for who you surround yourself with. It's a conscious choice. It's an invitation that you have accepted. You are consciously choosing to be around them. So I started to realize this. Okay, I'm not going to surround myself with a lot of miserable people. But wait a minute, Ralph, you do that. You counsel people. Oh, definitely. But that's only because I am wait for it, recharging myself. Every single day, I'm coming into nature. It feels fantastic. I am, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, that beautiful chi, getting so much energy from the beautiful chi. So I have a lot to give. Plus, this is what I do day in, day out. I've learned how to recharge myself. Many people we hang around Many people we hang around leave a lot of undesirable energies on us. And sometimes desirable energies, but sometimes undesirable energies. So you've got to learn how to not only cleanse your aura, you can go into a salt bath. Pink Himalayan sea salt is fantastic for cleansing the aura. Jump into the ocean by all means and take me with you, right? If you can learn how to recharge, I come into nature to unplug and therefore I have more to give, but also more to receive from the elements all around me. Slow motion this side. And also learn how to set healthy energetic boundaries. Time and time again, we don't realize how important this is. 
put a go like that. Nobody is going to enter this space right now because I am recharging. I'm in my own space right now, right? That's what I had to do. You're not a bad person if you say no. No, oh my gosh. Your friends will understand. Those are the people that matter anyway. People who don't understand, well, they don't matter anyway, okay? So I started to create healthy, energetic boundaries. Sometimes we get invited out and we're like, do I really want to be around this person? No. Say it. No, I don't. Or yes, I do. And that will make you more empowered to deal with energy draining people. And it will help you find energy generating people. But you see, like attracts like. If you want to be around energy generating people, you've got to become one yourself. Right? So you will find that if you are hanging around a lot of energy draining people right now, it's probably because you are living an energy draining lifestyle. Hello. So the more I started to live an energy generating lifestyle, I started to connect with energy generating people because life is a mirror. It mirrors what we are at every single given moment in time. Go where you are celebrated, not where you are tolerated. Many of us, we just don't realize this. We hang around people and we don't get nothing back. And I'm like, right now in life, what Ralph? I am, yeah, that's right. I'm walking away from undesirable energies, energies which don't give me anything. And it's not just people that drain our energy. It's also the media that drains our energy. It's also the system. It's also certain music. So I started to take responsibility for what I was allowing into my space. And right now, we are only allowing beautiful strawberry energy into my space, right? Choose wisely what you allow into your space. We didn't come here to tolerate anything. We came here to start to enjoy this beautiful life experience. Certain times, energy draining people can teach us a lot about ourselves to say, why am I attracting them into my life? If you want to learn how to give more, you have to say to yourself, look, I'm going to give freely because I want to give. Many times we have a hard time giving because we feel pressured to give. Give because you want to give. Sometimes don't even worry about getting compensated. Just give because you want to give and then get compensated, right? Now, many people, many people have a hard time in receiving certain things. They can't even receive a compliment. And that's a program which I had to delete to say, I am worthy of a compliment. If someone says, Ralph, you did a great job. I'll say, thank you so much. You are worthy of a compliment too. You are amazing, magnificent. Okay, that's the art of receiving. If someone says, hey, thanks a lot for helping my life. Here's a million dollars, Ralph. I'm taking that. And I'm going to spend it on the cat down the road. <laughs> okay, so once again, we are in the heart of nature. Have a beautiful day. Much love to you, beautiful deep divers. That is the secret art of giving and taking. Know your worth, but more so say, feels so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? <laughs> We're out here. Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Infinite waters. Diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy, peace. You! <laughs>